Tu. You can imagine is the if the same bird is crossing the track of the Seven, eight years ago, archaeologists were, were working here in the reconstruction of this palace. You can see that was a temple formed by several chambers, rooms, this one over here. But they stopped. All the pieces, all these rocks that you can see over here, belongs to this palace. That's as the archaeologists said missing many pieces impossible to complete the reconstruction and well it's sad that we are waiting to maybe one day archaeologists finish the reconstruction of this palace we are going to see the auto temple with these interesting geometrical designs, human figures, uh, columns, natural motifs, like for example flowers, um, and especially the famous Maya rain god. Famous what? Rain god. Rain god, huh? Not you know, his, na his name is Chaak. Aztecs named to the same god Tlaloc. Zapotes in Oaxaca called to the rain god Cosijo. But it's a similar representation is the mask of a monster. Always with the mouth open, showing his teeth, big ears, in this case earrings, and the nose over here, the nose of Maya rain god, is like an elephant trunk. Hmm? We'll find to Chuck the rain god practically in all temples. Why Chuck appear everywhere, the rain god? Because it was the most important need for the people living in this area. Water. Hmm? We'll see to Chuck the rain god practically everywhere. Well, amigos, <coughs> we are just few steps from the famous quadrangle of the nuns. It's a complex of four buildings forming a square that long time ago in 16th century a group of Spanish
Ay, I can see one, two, three, four masks of Chuck, the rain god in this corner. Huh? Can you see mouth open? Look at the, uh, the teeth. teeth. Look at the round pieces are the eyes. The square shape trunk. is the is the ear. And look at the trunk, it's like an elephant trunk. Can you see that? There are one, two, three, four. If you go to the opposite side, you can see the nose is broken. But there are again another four representations of rain guard. This is Tlaloc for the Aztecs. This is Cosijo for the Zapotecs. This is Chak for the Mayans. Why are they called in different ways to the same They spoke different languages. That's it. Hmm? But over there is Chak. Mayan food, great engineer. Look at the technique of construction. Hmm? Is masonry. And then they cover the walls with very well carved stones, as you can see here. Then all these walls were covered with plaster and painted in interesting colors. But look at, talking about the Mike engineer, they add to the walls of facades this kind of cornice. This is to reinforce the walls, because if we add to the, the, the carved stones straight without this cornice, obviously the wall collapse. This is to reinforce the wall. Sergio? When you go into uh, any chamber, you are going to find the same false arch that we found in the chambers of the city of Palenque. Yes. Are those two different periods, the first and then this outer construction came later? See? No, it's the same one, but over here you can see two different periods. Can you see? Oh, yeah, yeah, that one and then this. Exactly. Exactly. Two different periods of construction. Hmm? Over here, you can appreciate very well. Huh? An inner construction, an inner construction. Amigos, let's go to see the quadrangle of the nose. To me, this is the best about Joven de la película.
A color y en Cinemascop. ¿Qué traes? ¿Ves? Y viene campechaneado, viene revuelto de chile mole y de manteca. Ah, viene de Australia, de Inglaterra, Estados Unidos, de Canadá, Perú, yucatecos, como son. Sí, puede empezar por aquí. But this is not the only civilization that venerated as a symbol of fertility. Don't forget, fertility was very important in this region because we have fertile soil. Is there a name to that? Is there a... <laughs>